Hey, what's up YouTube? We're going to do a quick video on uh, making a computer stand today with uh, from the IKEA Hacks website. The idea I got from there, uh, basically using an ECB Leva 23 inch by 10 inch shelf, which cost me $3, and Capita legs. I got the six and a quarter inch legs. Uh, I also sell four and a half inch legs. They're right there. So basically you're just going to screw the bases of the Capita legs on. Um, you're not going to be able to use the screws that, that came with because these are three quarter inch screws and the board is only a little over half an inch so I had to go get some uh, half inch screws. Not a big deal. Um, just get like 16 of those because there's four per base. And you're not going to use these two holes here. That's for uh, using these for a bookshelf. So I had those pointed inward on each of them just so there's more the legs are more closer to the corners. And basically this is the only one I haven't screwed in yet. You're going to use like a 7, I used a 764 drill bit and uh, right here so you can see this drill here. And you don't want to drill too far down it will go right through the board, so I just line up the screw with the bit and see how and just kind of there's like a second indentation there, and that's how far I went down into there. Error on the side of caution. You don't have to go half an inch like the screw length. You could go like even like a quarter of an inch, and because this is like particle board, it's not hard to screw into. Once you got all those bases on there. Then you're just going to go ahead and screw in each of these legs. And the total cost of all this was $17. $14 for the capita legs and $3 for the board. And next up I'll show you how it looks on my desk. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, there you have it. There's the Ekby Leva shelf with the capita 6 inch legs computer stand uh, like I said total 17 bucks uh, frees up space on your desk push the keyboard under there time to write that novel you've been putting off one more thing uh, when you're screwing in the screws to the base for the legs use a manual screwdriver because if you use a power drill you'll just basically screw right through it Okay, hope you like this video and thanks for watching.